Hi, I'm David Harry, and if like me, you've just gone and blown all of your hard-earned cash on a brand new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, primarily for doing video work with and for doing vlogging, but you forgot to buy a microphone and you've only been left with either one pound or one dollar, then carry on watching this video because I may have the solution for you. Okay, so if you've just gone out and bought yourself an S9 Plus, the chances are you would already have factored in a microphone. But why overspend if you don't need to? So basically what I'm gonna do in this video is do a number of tests with a one pound lavalier microphone, which also costs one dollar for you people in the States. Now what I'm gonna do is just do some very quick testing with the lav and then compare it to the microphones inside the camera as well. So right now, this is indoors. So this is the indoor portion of the test for the lav. Now what I'm gonna do is just flip over onto the internal microphones so we can get an idea of how they stack up as well. Okay, so I've took the microphone out, as we can see. I am now on the phone's internal microphones. Now, the thing with the S9 Plus and presumably the S9, because I think it's identical with its mics, is that it sounds amazing. So for built-in microphones, they're awesome. But here's the thing, though. With these types of microphones inside phones and whatnot, they're going to be picking up everything in the room equally. And because there's a bit of a distance here, we'll be getting more of the room ambience on this particular take. Whereas with the lavalier, and although it's not a cardioid as in a front face and polar pattern, it too is an omni, so it picks up everything. But because this is a lot closer to my mouth, it will have been picking up less of the room ambience. And maybe it sounded a bit clearer as well. Now, what I'm going to do is go outside and do a bunch of tests out there just to show the differences between these two ways of recording. And then then I'll come back in afterwards and I will do a summary. Okay, so I'm now outdoors and I'm with the lav mic and it's just only got its foam filter on here as well. There's a slight tiny breeze, but I don't think it's going to tax it too much. And plus, because what I'm going to do is also compare it to the camera's inbuilt microphones as well. So I kind of want it to be as level as I possibly can with this. Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is just do this shot as I'm doing right now, which is just locked off on the camera. And then after this, what I'll do, I'll do a little bit of a handheld piece. I'm not going to go over the top too much with this uh, because we should be getting enough idea of the dialogue as it stands right now. So basically what I'll do now I'll just flip over onto a handheld shot and then I'll kind of go and do something else as well actually I'm not going to flip over just yet onto the handheld shot I still haven't done the internal mics with it being locked off so this now is an example of the internal microphones on the actual phone as we can see there's the connector for the microphone and the microphone isn't on now now the thing is this phone has got absolutely amazing audio quality with the tin built microphones but there's two reasons why I particularly like using lavaliers when I'm doing dialogue in front of cameras, especially cameras that use stereo audio for recording, is because one, I want to keep it all dead centre in the middle, because if I move around like this, the stereo is going to go lopsided with my dialogue. Now the thing is also, it's much easier to prevent wind from hitting one of these capsules as well, so you can put a wind muff on them and stuff. Anyways, this should be enough of a take for us to hear exactly how the input microphone sound. Okay, so I'm now handheld, and what it is, I'm back onto the lav. There we go. And what it is, I'm recording here also with my Sony AX100. Only problem is that's in fully auto mode, so I'm just hoping that it's actually catching a decent picture. But you know, this is a microphone test, blah, blah, you know. So we're listening for audio, not so much picture. We'll definitely not picture off the Sony, but I've got a feeling that the picture on this is gonna be amazing as well. Anyway, so this is just an example of what you can do when you're kind of handheld with it. So I'm just gonna spin round a little bit and kind of go in and out of the sun with it. I've actually got things locked off on here as well, other than the focus. So that may be a little bit of a kind of test as to how this is reacting with the sunlight as well. Okay, so once again, this was with the lavalier. Okay, so I'm now back onto the phone's internal microphones. There's the cable off the lav. So what I'm going to do is just move about a little bit. This isn't really a video test, but, you know, I might as well get a gauge of the picture while I'm at it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the phone around on its axis just so we can hear this effect that I'm talking about. So as this phone turns around, I will be mostly towards one of the microphones now and be a bit lopsided. Then as I turn it around and get to the other side, very wobbly, I'll be on the other side of the microphones. And so therefore, I'll be, I would have been 
on the other side of the stereo field. Right now, I'll be in the center of the stereo field. But the only thing with this is, in order to hear the difference in this, like my positioning or my dialogue position in the stereo field, or with it's dead center with the lav, you're gonna have to be listening on like speakers or headphones. And if indeed you're listening on say a portable device or something like that, or something with a mono speaker, one, you won't hear that stereo effect at all. And two, you're probably not gonna hear the difference between either of the microphone setups either. Anyway, that'll do for this. And just for another test as well, just before I go back and do my summary, I'm now outdoors still, but this time I'm by a really busy main road. So I'm now on the lavalier mic, as we can see. And the thing is, although it's only an Omni, because it's really close to my mouth, what it should do is pick up my voice more than what it picks up the traffic. So hopefully, although we may not have heard too much in the park between the differences between the lav and the inbuilt microphones, hopefully here we're gonna hear a difference as in this mic is probably gonna pick up me voice a lot better with all the traffic going by. Okay, so now I'm on the internal microphones and as good as they are, and they really are very good microphones, unfortunately what it is, they're gonna be picking up a lot more noise around them, more than just my voice. So the chances are right now, we're gonna hear a lot more of this traffic on the inbuilt microphones, as opposed to what we were hearing through the actual like lav mic. And just so you can see, the lav mic is off, so we're definitely on the internal mics here. Okay, so now I think it's time to get back indoors and do a quick summary. Thank you. Okay, so to the summary then. Now, it will be very apparent to anybody who's like interested in these things as to what the major differences really are between these two mic systems. Now, the thing for me is that, you know, sometimes you just don't need to spend so much money on certain peripheral devices. I mean, you know, you could argue and say, well, look, if you've just spent over 800 quid on a phone, then maybe you can afford to spend more on a mic. But here's the thing though, if you don't need to spend that kind of money, don't spend it, do you know what I mean? And if one pound or one dollar sounds as good as what this does, or in my mind as good as what this does, then just go for it. Now what I'm gonna be doing, I'll be doing some more mic tests with this over the coming week or so with different labs as well. And I'll be using one very expensive lav on it as well, just so we can kind of get a gauge of things like that also. Anyways, I hope you have found this video entertaining or insightful, and maybe it's kind of helped people realize a few different things about my microphones as well and especially lavaliers and more so a mega cheap lavalier so anyway the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now